Now, this is a uh, quite important um, topic here, and a bit of a harder topic for this chapter. Um, this would be nominal GDP and real GDP. Um, typically, when we're measuring um, GDP, we're taking the prices times the quantities. But the problem with that approach is that um, by looking at prices, what you could end up doing is thinking that more production is occurring when, in fact, all that's happened are higher prices. So nominal GDP, the way that we're measuring that is we're taking current year prices for all the products in the um, country, and we're multiplying them by current year quantities. But, as you can see here, nominal GDP can increase either because price changes, quantity changes, or both. And for an economist, that's a little bit distressing because we actually want, when we're looking at GDP and we're measuring GDP, we're generally concerned about whether more is being uh, produced, not just that the same amount is being produced, it's just more expensive. Um, so instead, what economists tend to focus their attention on is a measure known as the real GDP, which then basically keeps the prices at a certain amount, uh, what we call the base year prices, and we multiply it by the current year quantities. The base year would have to be something that's told to you. Um, there's no natural instinct of what it must be. Um, uh, it would have to be told to you what it's going to be. Um, as an example here, if I said that 2010 was my base year, and I gave you 2000, actually 2000, 2010, and 2012, the real GDP would be your prices in 2010 times your quantity in 2000. Your prices in 2010, your quantity in 2010. Your prices in 2010, your quantity in 2012. As you can see here, the price is kept constant. The only way real GDP changes is if quantity changes.